let's start. Today we will see how to implement a moving average strategy in the TradingView Pine script. First, let's understand the strategy. We will have two moving averages, a 50 moving average and a 200 moving average. When the 50 average is above the 200 average and the price is above both the averages, we will buy the stock. And when the price closes below the 200 average, we will exit the trade. Similarly, when the 50 average is below the 200 average and the price is below both the averages, we will short the stock. And when the price closes above the 200 average, we will exit the trade. Now, let's see the code. This is the strategy function with name, moving average strategy. The overlay attribute is set to true, which means the moving averages would overlay the bar chart. Then, we have used the input.int function to accept the user input for the lengths of the moving averages. The default values are 50 and 200. Then, we have used the EMA function to calculate the 50 and 200 exponential moving averages. Then, we have plotted the averages. Now, if the 50 average is greater than the 200 average, and if the price is above both the averages, we set the as long variable to 1, else we set it to 0. Similarly, if the 50 average is smaller than the 200 average, and if the price is below both the averages, we set the is short variable to 1, else we set it to 0. And for the stop loss, we use the stop long and stop short variables. After taking the long trade, if the price closes below the 200 moving average, we set its stop loss here. And after taking the short trade, if the price closes above the 200 moving average, we set its stop loss here. Now, we have used the strategy.entry function. The first argument is the ID of the entry. The second argument is the direction of the trade. Here we are taking the long trade. The third argument is the number of shares that we want to trade. The fourth argument is the condition and we want to initiate the trade, so we have used the is long variable here. And the strategy.position size variable denotes how many trades are currently active on the chart. So we keep its value to zero, because we want to initiate a trade only when there are no pending trades on the chart. If we don't use the strategy.position size variable then, the chart would be full of various unnecessary trades. Then, we have used the strategy.exit function. The first argument is the ID of the exit. The second argument is the ID of the entry. This will be useful if we have multiple different entries on the chart. The third argument is the quantity to exit. And the fourth argument is the stop loss or the exit condition. This is the long trade entry and exit. Similarly, here we have programmed the short trade entry and exit over here. Let's add this strategy to the chart. As you can see, when the 50 moving average is above the 200 moving average and the price is above both the averages, we have taken a long trade with 100 shares of stock. And when the price closes below the 200 moving average, we have exited the trade. Similarly, when the 50 moving average is below the 200 moving average and the price is below both the averages, we have taken a short trade with 100 shares of stock. And when the price closes above the 200 moving average, we have exited the trade. An important note, in the trading view, the entry exit arrows are always shown on the next bar, because, the Pine script waits for that bar to completely close where the entry exit conditions satisfy, and then it shows the arrows on the next bar. You can check the strategy results in the strategy tester tab. So that's it. That's how you can implement a moving average strategy in the TradingView Pine script. Thank you.